CDs and shirts over there. We're going to play a song off of our CD that's for sale. In hopes that you buy it based on liking it.
This capsule, you're at home in one me instead of me, and your answers, and your reasons, and why you breathe faster. It's because inside you hold yourself for a ransom. Is all I am. So how, how on earth did you ever find a way? Oh, my dance on me is fine. My charm and twist energy And how they meet So perfect But the portrait is dangerous After her
mix everybody for sure. Um, our drummer is on Facebook about 23 hours a day. So <laughs> Christina. Kind of, she, she, she single handedly drives social networking sites as a whole. So, but no, I think it just connects fans. You can talk to us and we can talk to them and find out information right from us. I think that's cool. We to ourselves over and over again. So, I don't know, I guess. Or is there like a certain ritual or anything you guys do to, before a show to get pumped up? No, not really. I, no? I kind of just, I've always like, just waiting to go on has always been that anxiety that kind of gets me hyped. Though, like, what would be like the top three songs, or top artists that you guys would have? Anything, Britney Spears with this. Baby, one more time. Really got it. All right. There's a good eclectic mix of styles that everyone likes. Nice, nice, nice. It's my first, but I saw Creed fairly Creed? early in my life. Okay. Yeah. First concert. Allsfest 2001. Nice. Uh, no doubt in like nice. That, that was my first concert. I was 11 years old again. And that's Hella good. <laughs> first concert. Sticks and Ario Speedwagon and 30 seconds. Ario Speedwagon, that's a Canadian thing. That was good. First concert. ZZ Top. Nice. I was barely old enough to remember it, but uh, my back grew up with a drummer. Nice. ZZ Top, so. Favorite. I mean, Houston's always kind of been like a home away from home, and that's like where we get a huge response. So, Very Houston's cool. always, Scout Bar has always been an awesome place for us to live. Go to school. <laughs> um, no, I mean, if you want to play music, you got to be the best. If you're not the best, don't even bother. That's my honest advice you can get. I want people to be moved. That's what I listen to music for. You know, I like to listen to your song that kind of gives you that little, you know, shake down your back or whatever. That's kind of what I I like to listen to. And, you know, just like our live show, we try to bring it every time for that. And I think anybody that sees it kind of really feels what we're feeling, and I think that's pretty key. Let them apply it to how they want to apply it. You know, yeah. to their life. Alright guys, so what can we expect from Parabell in the next uh, year? Let's take over the world. <laughs> new album release new date? Album. Do we have a date yet? Uh, or? We'll get in November. November? Mid November kind of thing. We're working on an acoustic album or DVD as well, so a couple things this year.